To create a new event, simply go to the design section. Under the events tab, you can see the existing events or you can create a new event. Creating a new event. You can simply use the JSON editor to define your event type or upload a JSON file that contains the event type definition. Now, this is an event type that I've already created. You can look at it. This is the event type definition. Uh, you can also, as I mentioned, edit your event types from this dashboard by simply using the JSON editor or uploading a new file that contains your new event type definition. To create a publisher, you simply choose the, select the publish event action from the action menu. You drag that into the canvas and you can create a publish, uh, a publisher. While you create a publisher, you can use one of the existing event uh, types for this newly created publisher, or you can create, define a new event. Save this. Now to create a subscriber, you simply create a new integration type event that will subscribe to either an existing or a new event type. Here, I've already created a an integration type event and it is simply subscribe to the event type that I've already created. You could subscribe to any of the existing events or define a new event to subscribe to. Now to test this, To test this, I'll activate both the integrations for publishing and subscribing. Okay. Now that both are active, I'll go to my publishing integration. And I will provide it with a payload for value one. Run the integration. Okay can see that um, my publisher published the new value for value one and it was 200 with a 200 status. Now, Going to the observability section, we look at the integrations. 
we can see that my publisher just published an event and my subscriber just received a value that it was subscribed to.